today's speech contest is Toastmaster Safina Shahid. And her topic is her topic is a procrastinator mind. A procrastinator mind. Toastmaster Safina Shahid. Distinguished dignitaries, fellow Toastmasters, and dear guests. It is July 2017. The next batch for CA final examination has started and the exams are in December 17. So I have one, two, three, four, and five months to prepare. I sat down to plan myself. From a two hour study schedule in the first month, escalating gradually every month to a six hour study schedule in the last month, just like a staircase. One step at a time, each step going higher. How difficult could it be? No big deal, right? But then the funniest thing happened to me. The first couple of months came and zoom, they're gone. I didn't study. So now I have an awesome revised new plan. Then those middle months came and zoom again, they're gone. I only have a list of dictionary and books needed. One fine morning, I wake up to those unused ordinances, that unused dictionary, and the exam is next week. So I do all I could do. I cram the books, put in all nighters, write the exam, and sleep like the dead after it. I thought this was the end of my world. But one and a half months later, I receive an SMS saying, congratulations, you have passed. That, by the way, did not happen. It was a failed exam. I was just enjoying that one moment when all of you were thinking, oh my god, this lady is amazing. Fellow listeners, a procrastinator's behavior has always perplexed a non-procrastinator. So today, I shall be telling you about how a procrastinator's mind works. This happens when you procrastinate, actually. So, when, uh, when you put together the brains of those two people, you come across the fact that they both have a rational decision maker. But my brain has an additional character, that instant gratification monkey in it. And that rational decision maker actually comes up with productive, logical things to do. But that monkey does not like that plan at all. So he was like, okay, let's watch an episode of Game of Thrones first. And then we read all those articles about the latest Bollywood weddings happening. And then we'll go and peek into the fridge and see what's new in there from 10 minutes ago. After returning, We'll watch another episode of Game of Thrones because the last one ended at a critical point. And I cannot focus until I know what happens next. So, Mr. RDM, I'm really very sorry. We are not starting today. Ladies and gentlemen, this instant gratification monkey is not the type of guy that you want steering your brain. He lives only in the present with no memory of the past, no knowledge of the future. He knows only two things, easy and fun. Now, if you are living in an animal world, doing nothing, just easy and fun, you will be a huge success. But if you haven't realized, let me tell you, we are all in an advanced human civilization. And that monkey, does not know what that is. And which is why we have this other guy, the rational decision maker in our brain, who will tell us what to do and what we can do that no other animal can do. Visualize the future. See the big picture. Make long-term plans. This is what he wants to take into account. Doing the right thing at the right moment. Now at times, it makes sense to be doing fun and easy. 
like when you're going to bed, you're having your dinner, or enjoying the well-earned leisure time. But at times, it makes much more sense to be doing the harder and less pressing things for the sake of that big picture. And this is where the conflict occurs. A procrastinator, when facing this conflict, tends to fall the same way every time. Pleasure activity. happening when they should not be happening. So, the million dollar question now. What is it that will keep the procrastinator from moving towards where important things really happen? Turns out that procrastinator has a guardian angel on his shoulders. Someone who is watching over him all the time. Someone called the panic monster. This panic monster is dormant most of the time, and but awakens suddenly when there is a crisis, a deadline occurring, some career disaster, or any of that scary consequences. And that instant gratification monkey, that naughty little chimpanzee, is really terrified of that monster. Now that monster became a pretty uh, significant reality of my life recently. It was on 17th of January. The contestants for this competition were finalized and the list included yours truly. 21 days to go, the rational decision maker says, roll up your sleeves and get to work. But that monkey pops up and says, we will first check out ICAP on Google Maps and trace the route from work to ICAP. That is what we did that day. 14 days. And we are still watching YouTube videos of other contestants of the competition. Seven days. People are calling me up. Hey, how are your preparations going? And I am giving those smart responses like, oh, I have a mind-blowing speech ready and lots of practice done. It is 6th of January, 10 p.m. And guess who wakes up? The panic monster has put the system in a state of uproar. And the monkey was terrified of that monster. Boom, he's up the tree. And I am at the steering wheel of my mind, right in this seat. These three characters are what constitutes a procrastinator system. It is not a pretty picture, for sure, but in the end, it worked. It worked today, did it? it? Over to you, Contest here. <laughs> All eight contestants have completed their speeches.